Well, the outbreak is having a big impact on the Asheville Regional Airport. Spokeswoman Tina Kinsey says staff members are being educated about proper hygiene and social distancing. She says some non-essential staff members are now working from home. Kinsey says the number of passengers coming through the airport has decreased significantly. We are seeing uh, many flights canceled every day. Um, I think the airlines are taking this day by day just like the rest of us. They are operating flights. There are still people who need to travel for various reasons, but the numbers have declined significantly. And Kinsey encourages people to contact their airlines if they have a trip planned in the future. One healthcare nonprofit in the mountains wants Western North Carolina to, to be prepared for what's to come. The Dogwood Health Trust held a virtual news conference to address what they're doing. The CEO says they've contributed $10 million to nonprofits to help the community stay safe. He also says it's important to make sure the public knows the crisis in the mountains is only going to get worse. There's this 14 to 17 day data lag. And when you know, you see 10 cases, you're making decisions based off the fact that there's 10 cases. Really, there's 100 cases walking around transmitting right now. They've also teamed up with outlying health care providers in the mountains and in some places helping with food and providing Wi-Fi. We are getting a lot of questions from you about the coronavirus and how it's impacting our community. Well, tonight, News 13 tracked down the answer to this question. We already know about the field trips in North Buncombe to New York. Will parents be refunded? Well, several people have asked us about school field trips and the money they've already paid. We reached out to Buncombe County Schools who say they're working to get refunds and or credit for future field trips from the companies. They also said that many of these companies are facing devastating financial losses and each arrangement is unique. We ask parents for their patience as we pursue these matters over the coming weeks. Principals will be in touch with parents as these issues get resolved. And if you have a question that you want the I-Team to investigate, email your questions to iteam at wlos.com.